Hello everyone, today is my day off and today I want to extract gold from such connector, connectors, absolutely new connectors. To remove each pin from this connector it's difficult, I will dissolve the metal directly in aqua regia with plastic. I want to find out how much gold can be extracted from one kilogram of these pins. There is some marking on the connector RN and here 1DH slash 40 or IDH slash 40 and nothing else. 40 pins in one connector. The connector weighs um, 8.5 grams. 5 grams 969 milligrams plastic and 2 grams 531 milligrams metal pins. To get 1000 grams of pins I need 395 connectors. The pins 40% gold plated and 60% just zinc plated copper. Because of the zinc the pins are slightly magnetic. Okay. I believe very poor material for gold recovery. <laughs> All the connectors are in a beaker, so I have four beakers. Now let's talk about a very important part. There is some kind of silicon or oil on the plastic. I don't know what it is. And it's very important to remove this oil before dissolving the metal in aqua regia. Very important. To remove the oil or whatever it is, I mix 500 milliliters of water with 400 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid and 50 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. And now I will boil it. I will boil the connectors for at least two hours. Two hours at least. And I want to ask you a favor, guys. If anyone knows the best way to remove oil or whatever it is from the plastic, please share the information in the comments. Thank you. After two hours, connectors are clean. Now all the dirt and oils are in solution. Solution dirty. Now I need to drain the dirty solution and rinse connectors with hot water. Oh, very hot. Hot water. Okay, now my connectors are clean. Holy smoke! I removed a lot of dirt, oils, silicone from the plastic. This is very good. This is exactly what I want to see in this bucket. And now about connectors. I add 300 milliliters of water, 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid, 600 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, and I need 200 milliliters of nitric acid. My uh, aqua regia will be with sulfuric acid because uh, pins slightly magnetic. There you go. 50 milliliters of nitric acid for start. 50 more. And 50 more. Mm. 
Where do you go? Okay, after three hours, I doesn't see any reaction, no any nitrogen dioxide, which means all the pins has been dissolved. There are some bubbles, but it's uh, just because uh, solution is hot. Urea to neutralize nitric acid. I will precipitate gold with iron sulfate. My iron sulfate one year old, very old. That is why solution looks like um, rusty. <laughs> And I want to leave the solution overnight because it's too late right now, one o'clock in the morning, I have to go to bed. So, see you tomorrow. Beautiful morning, sunny day. I hope I will see some gold at the bottom of this bucket. I'm slowly, slowly draining dirty solution. Already you can see gold. Gold like mat, like clay. Well, this is not what, what I would like to see. But it is what it is. I just spilled gold past my beaker. <laughs> there you go. I need to redissolve this gold again because gold is dirty. Towel. Sulfuric acid. Hydrochloric acid. And a little bit of nitric acid. Just a little bit for start. Okay, more nitric acid. Check this out, guys. A small, beautiful night beetle. Black eyes. Yellow color. Yeah, it's night beetle because it's already dark outside. Gold dissolving very well. Almost done. Okay, enough. Good yellow color. Very good. Okay, filtration is over. Solution crystal clear. No any sediments at the bottom. I catch a lot of dirt, chlorides and piece of towel. <laughs> So now I want to drop gold with sodium metabisulfite. A little bit of water to dilute nitric acid. Okay, where do you go? SMB. Mm. 
one more spoon a little bit more okay it's enough an hour passed all gold settled to the bottom very little amount of gold actually i'm disappointed and i have some strange color of the solution brown almost red just in case i want to check solution with stainless chloride Three. Nothing. Negative. No any gold in the solution. And uh, just in case, if someone want to know how to make uh, stainless chloride, tin chloride, I will leave link down below. I have some video on this topic. Holy smoke, <laughs> very bad, very bad. I want to boil gold a little bit in water. Ah, I want to re-dissolve the gold again. Hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. Wow, it was fast. Two minutes and everything already dissolved. Urea Little bit more Beautiful color Clear solution Wow After filtration, filter is dirty. This is good. Solution crystal clear, beautiful color, beautiful golden color. Nice. So now time to precipitate gold. I will precipitate gold with ferrous sulfate. If someone want to know how to make ferrous sulfate, guys, I will leave the link below, okay? Very good. And now I need to boil it for about five minutes. Okay, five minutes enough. Now I need to cool down solution. Good size of granules. No any dust, only granules. Water, hot water. Nice. Electrolyte.
I'm boiling my gold in sulfuric acid and in electrolyte. Water, hot water. Beautiful. Now I will boil my gold in hydrochloric acid. Wow. No any yellow tint. Hydrochloric acid acid uh, absolutely clear. Beautiful. Water. Whoa. Time to dry it. All right, now time to figure out how much gold I got from 1000 grams of gold plated pins. Two grams 941 milligrams 2.94 uh, it's horrible basically i got 2.994 grams out of 400 grams of gold plated pins because the pins were only 40 percent gold plated right Poor material for gold recovery. So in 118 pieces equals 1000 grams. 1018 pieces of connectors equals 1000 grams, which means from 1000 from 1 kilogram of connectors I got 0.88 two milligrams of pure gold. 0 0.882 milligrams of pure gold, which means um, from one single connector I got 74 milligrams. Very poor material for gold recovery. <laughs> Uh, all right. This will conclude the video. Thank you for watching. Пока-пока.